Doctor Who, The Wheel in Space, Episode 6 From the Lost in Time DVD, Wheel Operations Room, Ryan, fire, several meteorites explode, Jamie and Zoe grab each other's hand to try and stay together in the shot waves. Caselli, he's hitting, we're hitting them. Doctor, what about Jamie and Zoe? Lenoff, Leo, the shock radiation blast. Ryan, fire, Lenoff, but you... You must think about the two children. Ryan, I can't think about anything except those meteorites fire. Linoff, but Zoe and the boy will be. Ryan, I can't help that. They have to take their chances. Range, Rico. Caselli, 180, 190. Ryan, right. New sequence. Red on standby. Fire. Linoff, they'll be blown out of space. Doctor, Zoe calculated the risk. Just let's hope she was right. Ryan, fire. More meteorites go boom. And this time, Jamie and Zoe can't hang on to each other in the shock waves. They drift apart. Caselli, the screen's clear, sir. We've done it. Main body deflected. Doctor, any signs of Jamie and Zoe? Caselli, no. I wouldn't be able to pick them up on the video screen until the static has cleared. Ryan, well, keep it on the blue stand by now. By, by for now. They're bound to be a cloud of smaller stuff following on behind. Caselli, okay. yeah, okay. Ryan, and do check on all the circuits. Maintain all power levels till further notice. Caselli, no, I can't find them. Ryan, watch out for small rate rates, Rico. Now then, you know what you've done, don't you? Those two kids out there were probably either burnt up by radiation or fried by thermal blast. Always assuming, of course, it wasn't. They weren't actually hit by any of that rubbish. Doctor, do you think I don't know that? It was a calculated risk that had to be taken. Doc, why and why? Doctor, because there's something on board that rocket that we have, uh, have if we, that we have got to ha- have if we're going to beat the Cyberman. Right, and that, and that would justify risking two lives. Doctor, yes, to save many. But anyway, we're all going... We're all going to get killed shortly unless you switch over to sectional air supply. Ryan, what are you talking about? Doctor, the Cybermen are going to poison the air. Ryan, how do you know? Doctor, Jeremy told me. Ryan, where is she? Doctor, she's in the oxygen room. Ryan, right, well, I'll talk to her. Doctor, no, no, well, you can't, she's dead. Ryan switches on the wall monitor and sees Cohen's body lying on the floor. Doctor, she sacrificed her life to warn us. Caselli... Here come another swarm, meteor bearing 45, 40, 36. Ryan Wright, Lenoff. Any sign of Zoe and the boy? Caselli, no. Ryan, all systems on standby. We'll try three second interval shots. Standby to reinforce the antimatter field around the wheel. Maybe we can turn them off course. There's Eddie coming, coming into range, Ryan. Right, Tanya, what's the power levels? Ryan, the Berlinian rods must be nearly burnt out by now. Gasselli, in range now, bearing 180, 190 as before. Ryan, the red on standby. Fire, fire. Let off power is dropping, Leo. Ryan, switch over to antimatter field protectors. Projectors. Gasselli, they're turning. They've deflected them. Dr. Well, thank heavens, hello. Where's well, Jarvis Burnett? is striding along the corridor. They now switch the wall monitor to different views searching for him. Ryan, there he is. Jarvis, Jarvis, what are you doing? Jarvis, what are you doing? Come back, Barnett to monitor. No, I'm not going. I'm going on. They killed Jimmy, you know. Lenoff, please come back, Barnett on monitor. I lifted the force field. You'd better replace it. Lenoff, Leo, why are you going? Ryan, to, to bring him back. Dr. No, wait. you too late. Look. Burnett turns to see the Cybermen walking up behind him. Ryan Jarvis, watch out. Burnett walks towards the Cybermen, ready to grab her with it. But he's easily overpowered. The control room watches in horror. Cybermen lifts Burnett up over his head and throws him down the corridor. He zaps him with a chest unit ray. Nerf, take it, turn it off, turn it off. Rocket control room. 
Jamie brings Zoe a drink with a straw. Jamie, here. Zoe, oh, thanks, Jamie. Jamie, how did you? How do you feel now? Zoe, I don't think we'll, we've got to get through. I feel as if someone's been hitting me all over with small hammers. Jimmy, I just like you. Just you take it easy. So oh, it's all right. I'll help. What's this thing like? We're, like we're looking for. Jamie, it's about a, that long gold of a gold tip on the, one end, a white one on the other. Now you sure you're right? Come on then. Oxygen supply room. Large lava lamps are, bit, are above the control panels. Cybermen, the meteorites have been destroyed. Now we will take over. You have inserted a capsule and earth supply. Balance, yes. Cybermen, inject it into the system. Effective penetration should be immediate. Report. Balance, negative. It must have switched over to emergency supply. Cybermen, that cannot be re- they cannot, that cannot be reached. Balance, no, it's inside the force field. The side man switches on his portable communicator. Plan that on monitor. You do you report success? So then no, our plans are appreciated. Plan on monitor. Wait, the data will be computed. One of the Earth humans must have spirits have, have must have spirits or methods. Projection of all identities on the vessel is as is will is essential. Rocket rocket control room. Zoe, Jamie, Zoe, I found the rod. Look, this is the... Zoe has the oxygen supply room on the monitor. Zoe, Simon, I must have broken down the frequency. This may be important. Oxygen supply room. Simon, man, can produce of balance via the head device. Simon, stare into the box. Think of each individual human being at present on the wheel. From the image in your eyes of the image of the planner, we see the crew as balance names them. Balance, ten, uh, then off, no extra, greater, second glass, pan negative. Balance, Ryan, communicators officer, communications officer, pan negative. Balance, James Burnett, Jarvis Burnett, station, space station controller, pan negative. Rocket control room. So they seem to be talking about the whole crew at the wheel, one after the other. Jimmy, well, why? What they, what's, what are they after? Zoe, Valence, Zoe, Harriet, Astrophysicist, Physicist, Ocean Supply Room, Valence, Astrophysicist, Astrophysicist, First Class, Planner, Negative, Valence, Doctor, I don't know who he is, Planner, Name, Valence, I don't know, Planner, Planner, Name, Valence, I don't know, I don't know, World Operations Room, Ryan, but what's, what possible use could the will be to the to those Cybermen, Doctor? Doctor, that remains to be seen. Do- Ryan, I don't see why you don't accept my theory. They're simply attacking us. Doctor, they wouldn't go to all this trouble just knock out one small space wheel. Lenoff, Leo, there's something on the radar. Ryan, what? Caselli, it's not a meteorite. Look, it's, it's changing course. Lenoff, there are no ships due in this part of space. Because anyway, it's too big for one of our ships. Thought it could be a Cyberman spaceship. Ryan moving in for the kill. Doctor possibly. Ryan, what about the radio, Rico? We must contact Earth for assistance. Because no, not a chance. Though I could fix it up, okay, but I need some transistors. They're in the power room. Ryan, and one of us have to go and get them. <coughs> Rocket power control room. Planet positive. The doctor is known and recorded. An enemy. You must be lured outside the force field and destroyed. Jamie, they're going to try and trap the doctor. Come on. Let's get back and warn him. Wheel operation room. Looking at blueprints of the wheel. Then off. And these are corridors leading to power room. Right. Well, that's no good. We don't know where these Cybermen will be. Then off. How else are we going to get there? Through the cable tunnels? Right now, they're blocked off here and here. It just leaves emergency air tunnel. Flanagan, I'll monitor. Captain, Ryan Flanagan, where are you, Flanagan? The corridor outside of Spares. A workshop. i got a whole bunch of them locked up in a workshop. Ryan, is the way clear through to the powerhouse? Flanagan, I'll monitor. It is, if so, it is. 
but they were melting down the doors. I can't hold on for much longer. Ryan, well, look, one of us has got to come for some radio spares. We you bother them as much as long as possible? Fine, I don't want to. Right, I'll seal off the other compartments, but you better send someone quickly for them spares. Ryan Wright, Vanagon, on monitor. They may be trained at the other doors. Doctor, excuse me, tell him I'll go, f- I'll go for the spares. Doctor, I, you, you, sh- well, surely it's better if I go, Doctor. I think it's essential that I go. Ryan, all right, it's your neck. Look, Vanagon, the doctor's coming to be the, for the spares. Now hold him back as long as you can. Vanagon, on monitor. I'll meet, I'll meet up the doctor in the corridor six. Ryan, right. Doctor, now listen. As soon as Finnegan comes through at Fools Field, grab him. Ryan, grab him? What for? Well, enough. He isn't coming here. Did you hear him? He's going to meet you in the corridor six. Doctor, I somehow don't think he will. Now, as soon as I say, I have the map. But you now remember, don't trust him. Check the metal plate on the back of his neck. Now, but you, you get Doctor Flanagan meets the Cyberman. Finnegan, the doctor's coming to corridor six. <coughs> so, man, return to the operations room. Destroy the force field after they get let you through. Zoe me and Zoe were speech walking back to the wheel. Powering, the doctor opens up a great seat in, in the wall and climbs through. Goes over the trolley, picks up a small bottle. Doctor, ah, oh, Mercury. He pockets the bottle, picks up the circuit board, and checks out the corridor outside. It is clear. He then goes to the workbench and picks up some coils of wire. Doctor, yes. I don't see why it shouldn't work. Then in bay, out to, on their spacesuits, Jamie and Zoe come through the emergency exit as Cohen, uh, as see Cohen on the floor. Jamie, Doctor Cohen, she's clearly dead. Then go, they, then they go up the steps to the office. They walk through door labeled oxygen supply room in to corridor. Zoe, Fannigan. Fannigan, what are you doing? I'm wondering about. Then cre- those creatures are all over the place. Rainy, we know they are. Flanagan, follow me. That this way is quicker. Flanagan, Zoe, and Jamie leave. The Cybermen and Valence enter. Cybermen, the Doctor has not come. Valence, he must have gone another way. Cybermen, how? Valence through the air tunnels is what leading to the power room. So, Cybermen, show me. We all operations room. Flanagan enters with Jamie and Zoe. Ryan spots him and grabs him before he can touch the control panel. Jamie, hey, what are you doing? Zoe, he led us here. Lenoff, he's under Cyberman influence. Jamie, what? Ryan puts it into hypnosis device, the back of Fennigan's neck. Ryan, right. You'll be all right now. Sit down, him down over there for a while we go. Zoe, you mean he was being controlled? Jamie, Ryan, yes. You're dead lucky. Jamie, aye. He is where... Here's where's the doctor? Some men are going to try and lure him away and trap him. Then if he's already gone. Jimmy what? Doctor Monta, I got the spares. Jimmy Doctor, be careful. Doctor Monta, Doctor Jamie. Oh, thank heavens! You and uh, Zoe are right. Jimmy, I yes, yes. You, you now listen. Some men know you're on the wheel. They're going to try and trap you. Doctor Monta, yes, yes. I guess they would. Have you got me the got the time vector generator? Jamie, yes, Dr. Monton. Good. Now listen to me. I want you to bring it to me. Got someone to show you the way through the air corridors. Hello, I think I've got company. Transmission ends. Jamie, company? What does he mean? A penny drops company. Power room. And so men are standing in front of the door, Doctor. I suppose you come for me. So I'm one. You know, you know our ways, Doctor. Yes, I thought you realised somebody did. I did. I imagine you have, have all this destroyed me. So, well, yes, Doctor, tell me one thing. Why don't you order Duncan, Duncan to destroy radio communications for Earth? Oh, no, this is why you want possession of the wheel, isn't it? So, man, you know our ways. Doctor, they don't, uh, that doesn't answer my other question. So, man, too, he's instructed to destroy only transmitting complex. Doctor, oh, I see how interesting. Yes, of course. But assuming your large spaceship holds your visor fleet, the smaller ships that will only enter the Earth's atmosphere by honing in on the radio beam. So, man, too, you know our ways. You must be destroyed. Doctor, yes, well, I'm afraid you'll get back. Well, you'll, that you'll get back to that. Well, you better to come in. 
So a man step one steps forward, the doctor throws a switch, and electricity crackles it through its headpiece and collapses. Number two tries to use its chest unit. Doctor, you can't get through the field, you know. So number two, you will still be destroyed over the coming so number two leaves. Doctor turns up let off the electric field. Jamie comes through the grating with Flanagan. Jamie? Doctor? Doctor, Jamie, is he a white? Jamie, yes. Flanagan, I've got a head like a big brass drum. Someone's going to pay for this. Jamie, oh, it looks like the doctor's what he made. And one of them pay. Doctor, yes. It was sending in reinforcements. Probably for the loading bay. Have you got the rod? Thank you. I'm going to try and fix in this into laser gun circuit. If any luck, I should be able to boost the power enough to destroy those Cybermen spaceship. But you have to hide them. Hold them off at loading bay. I need help. Time. Hang on. Right, leave that to me, Doctor. Well, there's still the Simon left. So watch out for him. Fennigan picks up the money extinguisher. Fennigan, well, now I know what the thing that... Now I know what that... Just the thing for him. Doctor, good, there's a mental police plate for violence. Jamie catches it. Jamie, Leo, Ryan says you have, you have to call him. Jamie leaves. Fennigan, let's see how the um, creatures like this stuff. Pelican leaves, grill operation room. Because suddenly the ship's closing in on us. Doctor Monitor, I'm trying to put some extra power on the laser. Line up on the, uh, up on the like, Cyberman spaceship and let you know when I'm ready. Ryan, wait. We had better hurry, Doctor. The ship's moving towards us. Doctor Monitor, yes, I know. They're going to evade us. Loading Barry, Jamie and Fennigan in full spacesuits. Simon and Vanus are there. Vanus is also suited up. Fennigan, I could not get through the force field to the operations room. I caught this man on the way back. Sorry, man, he is, he is not important. Power room. Power room, right in the monitor. Hurry, doctor, hurry. Doctor, oh, yes, all right. Loaded by a group of side men are walking to the wheel. The side man turns his back. Fennigan and Jamie approach balance, and Jamie puts the metal plate on the back of his helmet. Jamie, got it, Flanagan. The Cyberman walks towards him as Sir Fannigan uses his extinguisher device on the, its chest unit. It turns out to be quick drying plastic. The Cyberman collapses and reaches the door controls. The Cyberman's walking Cyberman just pieces away as Fannigan shuts the outer doors, but the lead, but the lead wedges itself into between them and tries to force them open. Jamie, just to, just use the plastic again. Fennigan, I don't, can't, I wasted it all on the other one. Wheels operations room, Doctor, I'm a monitor. Right, everything ready here. Then off, re- ready, Leo? Ryan, ready, red on standby and fire. Cyber so ship, spaceship goes kaboom. Loading bay, Fennigan, I'll try and operate the neutron force field. Hold it. Hold tight. The force field repels, repels the Cybermen and outer doors close. Fennigan re- re- repressurizes the bay. They all move their helmets. Right, uh, Jamie, ah, we've done it. Wheels operations room, Caselli. Uh, central, standby for emergency report. Right, so central, contact clear. Standing by, Ryan, where's Zoe? You know, she's gone to take the doctor and Jamie back to the rocket. Zoe, uh, central, standing by with a crawling apparatus. With concurrence, concurrence, concurrence report. Ryan, hello, Earth central. This is Captain Ryan, standing in Control of Station Three. Voice recording in progress. Go ahead, Captain. Ryan, primary report on communications failure. Radio site contact lost at approximately 25, 12, 35, 2 hours due to the invasion of alien force. Will force will force to follow. All systems of operation report. Official permission to assume responsibility. Rocket and with control room. Zoe. So. I just got got to go back. Jamie, I'm afraid so, Zoe. You won't tell me anything about what this is. What is it? Zoe means TARDIS. So I see. Oh, yes. I watched the doctor. I asked the doctor what that meant. Time relative dimension in space, he said. Jamie, ah, yes. Zoe, but you couldn't explain it. Jamie, well, you see, Zoe, it's the same. Well, two different worlds. Look, you've got yours and Mark, Doctor and me have ours. 
Doctor, Jamie, Jamie, look, you've been, where have you been? Look, well, look now, Zoe, we won't forget you. Told us the Doctor pours up Mercury through the funnel console and the switches are on. Do I mean all set? Doctor, yes, I can have some, I even got some, mer- some Mercury left over. Jamie, oh, we can, can, can we go then? Dolly, yes, I think. A leader's car blanket. Bosco chest lowers itself gently. Doctor, just a little matter to show sort of first. I think, Jamie. The doctor knocks on the lid and he opens it. Jamie, hey, I thought I told you. Sorry, I want you to, I want you to go with me. I want to go with you. Jamie, well, it's it's possible. It's impossible. Doctor, now, Jamie, it's not impossible. It's something we have that we have to decide. You must change your mind, Zoe. No, I won't. Doctor, I wonder, Zoe, watch the screen up there. The doctor takes a small bit of piece from behind and round it. The door and puts it on. Jamie, what are you going to do? Doctor, I'm going to show Zoe this that sort of thing, as you may be in for. So you thought patterns? Doctor, yes. But now I'm going to weave into the complex story of you. Have you heard, ever heard of the Daleks? Do you know, do- Doctor? Then watch. Doctor, monitor. Who are you? Who are you? Answer. Doctor, then watch. Dalek or monitor. Who are you? Who are you? Answer. There's a praise from episode two. Episode of Daleks, which is repeated on BBC after this story.